everyone. So today, uh, I want to talk about uh, iron body training. So, so when you do your iron body training, most this this is internal and external mix things together. So half and half. So when when you see me do this exercise, because it's just uh, uh, give you example. If you don't have proper teacher, don't copy this. Okay. Thank you. First, when you do iron body training, you need equipment. So this equipment, the real break, okay, pepper, bamboo brush, the metal brush. Okay, first we need to make the the this is break. Okay, you can see the real break. So I use cotton to make the sides, you know, uh, not very sharp. You can protect your skin. So then I use pepper to wrap them. So, because I want to make this soft, so we just wrap them. Yeah, wrap them like this. Yeah, and the metal just wrap them roughly like this. I do more until you feel okay. It's enough for me, so you don't need it anymore. So okay. Yeah, good. It's enough. So easy to make. protection so it's very cheap to buy only cost you um, five pounds I think done so it's break brush Thumb brush. Okay. So I said, so when you do iron body training, number one rules, you need to do the warm up to make your body sweat. So before I film me, I did a little bit of uh, warm up, so my body is a little bit of sweat. You can do very easy uh, warm up. You can do push up. So we just do 20 times. Good. You can do squats. I just do ten. Good. So when you do this, I just give example. Yeah, you can do much more than this, or you can do uh, three four pounds. <laughs> And do fighting punch. I can do two slow kicks. Or fighting kicks. Anyway, you basically you try to make your body hot, sweat. This is the rule, okay? <coughs> now after, you can use the bum brush, yeah? To do the warm up. Make sure you use your waist. So you want, you want power to the inside your skin. Don't do this. Do uh, the waist. Make it more sharp. So then we only focus the up body. So we just warm up. Uh, stomach and the reps. When you finish this, because I said iron body training is mixed internal and external together, of course you need to do some chin exercise. <coughs> because today I just give you example, so I will not do chin exercise. But when you training, 
do the uh, eye body training, you have to have proper teacher teach you the hard qigong forms, exercise. Okay, then after this, you can use the brake and uh, metal brush. <coughs> okay, <coughs> now I use the brake. So because the brake is about two and a half kilos, <coughs> so because they're heavy and they got big piece, so you will not. Uh, get damage easily. Uh, this I call this is vibration. So use the vibration to make your body wake up, make your body know what's happening. Okay. <coughs> so always we do arm body training. We use horse stance, very low stance. So when doing, you doing stomach first. So when doing, every time we hit your body is exhale. Yeah. So look, I take inhale. I hit X. Okay, I'm start. I do ten times. Go. Okay. Of course, you need to other way, but I only I'll show you one way because your stomach is round. This hands, the other hands. No. So I'll show you reps here. So we're doing. You have to open your reps like this. Yeah. Do not turn, exhale, it hits your body. Go. Good. Outside, remember, exhale, with power. Go. Body training, you have to make everything move fast. Okay, you can't uh, give yourself rest because you want to keep your body sweat hot all the time. Okay, so <coughs> doing things focus and fast. Okay, so for example, I use, use the break finish. So I say, okay, my body is tense because the break is heavy. So I want to do some uh, punch kick more to make my body lose up. I just do some fighting punch kicks. Yeah, one, two, three, low kick, chop. I can do push kick, push, 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 you want to do basically you can okay you say I want to make simple I just do three four kicks kick 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 or three four punch anyway just keep your body excited <coughs> so now we use the uh, metal brush the metal brush uh, is more dangerous because they really look like uh, someone kick you or punch you. <sighs> Same. <coughs> we start from our stomach. So <coughs> remember, every time we're doing exhale, we hit the body with exhale. So okay, <coughs> I'm ready. I do ten times. Go. <coughs> Said when we do iron body training for me to help me do the fighting because I'm very small, so I want to close my open net. So, 
for me difficult because everyone told that music and use jab, jab, jab to keep me away or push kick or knee. So I have to be able to close this risk. I have to take that punch in my body or my head because <clears throat> more my body stronger, more I got confidence to go <clears throat> to go inside. So I'm practicing the arm body training. No for sure to break some stick on my body. It's just sure. It's not real, okay? Because you can't break the sticks. You, you, you give some sticks you can't break, doesn't matter how hard you train, you can't. I just want to, <coughs> I just want to make sure, make you understand, we do iron body training for me, for fighting. Of course, if you don't want fighting for health, also good. Yeah, but you don't need to use the, uh, you don't use too much power, okay? Just training to make your circulation move fast. <coughs> Usually I'm doing one <coughs> before the fight, one training. I use one hand to hold this, the other hand start to punch. Let me start beat. I'm go. I'm go. I'm go. I'm go. Yeah. So basically, you make drill. So you punch, you bam bam bam, you punch, and you attack, you attack, you attack. Yeah, so it's not uh, not for cool, for tough, for challenge your body, for conquer yourself. So <clears throat> to the iron body, the training most important thing is you need to make your brain, you know, exciting. Which is this reason warm up is important. Before you do, before I do the iron body training, I always run, 10k, 5k, whatever. I run, make a, make my body. Uh, <coughs> circulation move. Now I come back, I do some qigong, do some fighting punch kick or traditional forms. Now after I start, use the bump brush to warm up. I use the um, rack to wall abrasion, the power wall abrasion, give my body, send my body message. You will do hard beating, <coughs> make my body understand. Of course, important things, other things is always linked with qigong together. So, <coughs> I said, so one part of arm body training, so hot stance, so always do the long, 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 low stance, yeah, because it's the strongest stand, it's stable stance you can have. You stay here stable, then you can take hit, hit, yeah, you can take it. But <clears throat> when you're fighting, sometimes you not always have good balance, yeah. Same if I punch you at the same time, so you kick me. So this means I don't have stay good I don't have good uh, foundation. My, my stance not stable. So I don't prepare it. So you see them doing iron body training, you try to make your body like a mirror. When the sun, when they see the sense coming, your body stuck. So look, when I hit my body, my body, this is tech. This is hundred percent tech. I don't want to take the the power, my body starts bouncing. So yeah. my body starts bouncing. Look at my skin all red. Yeah. <clears throat> so another way I'm practice. So I make myself not stay stable. For example, I can use the speed uh, splits. So look, when I stay here, my body is not stable anymore. Yeah, this way. To beat. Yeah, it's just tell you I'm not using my muscle. I use the chi. Yeah, use the qigong to protect my body. So you can do this split. So I can hit. Good. Anyway, I just give the information, experience. So when people um, follow my course, you know I do the uh, Shaolin Steel Jacket online teaching course. Make sure before the class, if you're doing the course, make sure before the class 
you do some running or skipping to make your body sweat, hot, warm up, then after you do class, then you do warm up again, then follow the class. It's double make your body uh, you know safe. So when you do this kind of training, also when you hit your body, power getting getting stronger, not suddenly strong. So when you get damaged, take you a long time to recover. So you damage, you damage your ribs, your stomach, and the organs. Take you a long time to recover. It's very dangerous. So please, if you don't have any experience, don't follow this video. Do what I'm doing, okay? Don't follow it. You have to have a proper teacher to teach you, you know, how to do properly, okay? So anyway, I just want to give you some information to help you do this kind of training. Thank you.